Hi everyone. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2015, and we're continuing on with our look into the symbolism that has been rampantly being shown around us lately, that we're nearing the end of days. And actually in the Bible, when the woman of the Bible is called away of Revelation 12, right here. And that means when Michael and his angels will fight the dragon, Satan will be revealed, the woman will be granted the wings of a great eagle, and that this is also the day the dead rise that is coming, the day of the Lord. When Michael stands up and does these things, it's the same thing in the book of Daniel. Michael represents the voice of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ comes with the voice of an archangel. See Michael's deliverance in the end times? And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the, ch for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. That this event is what we're nearing now, through here. Well, let's show so many signs of this that the woman is ready to be set free and granted the wings of an eagle. And thank you to everybody on the channel who puts all these things in the comments section. I Somebody told me about this, so we figured we're going to dig into this. This woman here was on death row for nearly 22 years, and it says that a crooked cop had actually made a false statement about her saying that she had actually killed her four-year-old son, representing the fourth age of the Bible coming, and the 22, the number 22 that we keep showing all around us. Well, she's been set free, and she's been found innocent of all these things after 22 years. So see again the number 22 as we've been showing. The woman's name is Deborah Milky, and her lawyer's name was even named Michael, just like Michael the Archangel. Now let's do the other thing that we... we show on our channel all the time. Let's show oh, that not not everybody knows an awful lot about the Bible. When you see the name Deborah, you should know something about the Bible. It's one thing to know about Mike and Mike the Archangel. Does anybody know about Deborah in the Bible? Is anybody? Well, Deborah is known as the mother of Israel. She is the only woman to have a song written about her in the Bible. She was the only woman judge of Israel in Judges 5. And there comes a song of Deborah. And there is even Barak in the song, which sets up for a great war and things through there. Do you see Deborah? A prophet. And she's being set free, which means the fifth age coming as we've been shown. Deborah is called the mother of Israel. She is the only woman in the Bible that has a song written about her. Not even Mary has a song written about her. This, this is big time. So just remember that, that even if you're a Christian and you've read the Bible, that, and if you didn't know this, just realize that most other Christians don't know this. And that way you can begin to help them. That they, this stuff is right in front of them. They have no idea that you see a woman named Deborah set free, that this means Israel. And the woman granted the wings of the eagle, right there, as we've shown for the number 22, as we've shown in this symbolism. Deborah of the Bible. And she started a great war, too, um, for a redemption for the Lord. She was a judge. Well, now, I wanted to show something else. We've shown about that plane earlier today, right? the one that crashed and I showed how it actually symbolized the rapture and like the woman taking all the children away and everybody escaping actually and a grievous head wound coming. Well at the same time there was this incident that happened. First off you see right here where it says Utah brings back the firing squad. They're getting ready. I mean that's all for the New World Order to come back. For those that don't know it the the German type New World Order that's coming will be based off of Hitler's um, German things. And Germany had a great big thing, not just about the concentration camps, they had SS squads of firing squads, and they would run around just killing people, just like the firing squads. They killed more people doing that than even the ovens in the Holocaust. They would just shoot people all day long as they were going around. It's just horrible. 
But here, this man was kicked off a flight over his T-shirt. Let's see if we can get this here. But his shirt, his shirt says broad, like a woman. But then it says F and city, like the F word. He gets kicked off the plane. Well, there is only one tribe in all of the Israel 12 tribes that is not basically invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb, the Bible. And it's called the tribe of Dan, because the tribe of Dan was idol worshippers, and they're getting kicked off the plane. What's this guy's name? Daniel. See this? The woman's ready to be caught away, but the tribe of Dan is staying because the tribe of Dan is called idol worshippers, and they actually stayed a judge part of the world during all of this stuff. But there you go. The tribe of Dan was kicked off of the plane that was basically heading towards the wedding feast of the Lamb. Now, we're nearing the time of March 27th of this year. It, there is a thing about the Jewish calendar of the 7th of Nisan. Well, the Jewish calendar next year, March 27th, won't be 7th of Nisan. But all of this is symbolizing the time to head towards the Promised Land. The Jewish nation mourned for 30 days following the passing of Moses. During this time, Joshua, the new leader of the Jewish nation, just like Jesus, sent scouts to spy on the land of Canaan. On the seventh of Nisan, the first day after the mourning period came to an end, Joshua instructed the Jews to stock up on provisions and prepare themselves to cross the Jordan River and begin the conquest of the Promised Land. This is when the Jews entered in the Promised Land after the Exodus, after the 40 years in the desert, on March 27th. So we need to keep watch on this day, and again, we don't know if something's going to happen, but it, we need to be ready at this time. Joshua is telling us to stock up right there. We are supposed to stock up on water and food. Be ready. Something's coming. Now, just prepare. We don't know. So let's take a look at some things that have happened in March 27th in the past history. 87 BC Crown Prince Fuling, later Emperor Zhao of Han, is named Emperor Wu Han's successor and heir to the throne. Emperor Wu dies two days later. Well, we don't know about that, but this one seems... I mean, remember, we're looking for this five. We know that we're looking for this fifth age coming. See right there, the five of the Bible, like the V. Pope Clement V imposes excommunication, interdiction, and a general prohibition of all commercial intercourse against Venice, which had unjustly seized on Ferrara, a fief, a fief of the patrimony of Peter. Well, we don't know. There's an awful lot of different things in here. We can take a look at those. The Texas Revolution, the Goliad Massacre. But let's go down here and look at this one in 1964. Because we don't want to make a one-hour movie. And also we're looking for this earthquake. See the earthquake right there when the woman is caught away with the wings of the great eagle? 1964. The Good Friday Earthquake. The most powerful earthquake in U.S. history at a magnitude of 9.2 strikes South Central Alaska, killing 125 people and inflicting massive damage to the city of Anchorage. Well, that looks pretty significant. Like I say, we could spend a lot of time on here. Even 2002, which can be the 22, Passover Massacre, a Palestinian suicide bomber kills 29 people partaking of the Passover meal in Netanyahu, Israel. The Passover, like I said, the Jewish calendar is different than the than the regular calendar. So in 2002, the Passover was on the March 27th at that point. But you can go on and on. The dam forming Sisutena, an artificial lake in Indonesia, fails, killing at least 99 people. And that's like the breaking of the water for the birth of the next age, for the mother of Israel, as we showed, of Deborah being set free right there as the Phoenix. This happened in Arizona in Phoenix. The Phoenix rising. He would make the archangel ready to stand up. So we can see all of that there. Well, let's head over to this earthquake over here and see if we see some of that same symbolism we've been showing. Like the eagle ready to leave and leaving the tribe of Dan behind. See Daniel? He gets kicked off the plane. Literally, he got kicked off the plane today uh, while we're showing all this. So this is where this is, right here in Anchorage, Alaska.
That's where the greatest earthquake in the U.S. history was, not the greatest that ever was. Now, as we've shown, God has made all of the earth and all the heavens, everything. Literally, he can make everything done. This is going to show everything we've been showing right here, right where the great earthquake is coming, that the woman is ready to be called away. She's right here. Let's leave you a second to see here. Can you see the woman right here? It, it takes me a little bit of time to see these things, too. So I'm not expecting you to actually see it all real quickly. You'd have to look at it for 30 minutes or something. But see the woman right here with her foot out and her hand out? There's the dog on top of her head as we've been showing, representing like the shield. Here is the eagle ready to fly away. And for the time of Prince William as we've been showing to rise up after all this happens. Prince William and the New World Order. See Prince William Sound where the Great Earthquake happened? Right here is the giant Pope figure standing here coming after the woman. Right here is the dragon that gives all the power unto the beast that rises after the grievous head wound. Okay, let's show all that. Can you see the dog yet? There's the dog as we've shown, like the shield in the time of the Gentiles. And when this is gone, the woman leaves and the eagle flies. Can you see the woman yet? She's just below the dog, as we've been showing over and over and over again. There she is right there, the mother of Israel, ready to be set free. The dog is over the top of her. Do you see the eagle ready to carry them away when the dog is gone? There's the eagle. Now remember as a detective, as we've been doing these things, as we've shown, if we show this, it's one thing. But when you show this, with this connected to it, and this here, as a detective, each one verifies itself. In other words, it's all there. And it was all made by God. Literally. It's one thing just to show this and go, oh, okay, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But to have that connected right here to the woman, that makes that 100% verified. Literally. We do not know a time or date. And it's natural to want to know one. You have to trust in God. So there it is. The eagle ready to be caught away. When the woman and the great earthquake, realize that, we just verified this. The USA is going to be hit by a great earthquake. Right here is the beast, as we've shown, this going right at the Pope system. And the dragon on top, ready to give him his power. Do you see that? There you go. The dragon, the Pope figure, the eagle hitting him right in the head as we've shown, the time of the dog over, and the woman caught away with the wings of the great eagle, and then the Prince William New World Order system rises up with all these guys, Putin, Germany, Hillary Clinton, everybody, and even China, just as they show right here in this mural that hangs in the main Bank of America. There they are. There's Hillary and Bill Clinton and a Rothschild, what it looks like. Whoever you might say that that is, you go right ahead. And then Obama. His role is to set everything up. See, Obama is in the way. And then they all hand their power over to the beast. And the woman is caught away with the wings of a great eagle. See her going up? And Obama's role is to be as a Judas, to set it all up. And then they're ready to hand it all over to him. Right there. Right in front of us. May God have mercy on us all. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That's amazing. Thank you, God. So we can see all of that right there. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Do we know if something will happen this March 27th? We don't know. But always be prepared. This is for every year that you should be getting prepared, right here. As it said, as we near the seventh of Nisan, you should always be preparing. It's been a tradition since the time of when Moses passed after the Exodus. And when Joshua took over and took everybody into the Promised Land. This is why you celebrate these feasts and different customs and things each year. So you remember all of these things. 
And that way you know that the Song of Deborah is about the woman of the Bible. And she's ready to be set free. Again, with that number 22 right in front of us. God have mercy. And Deborah in the Bible, when she started a great war, even with Barak, and they started a great war that ended up setting Israel free and such. And it represents that Judges 5, the fifth age of the Bible coming. That it's all going right by scripture. Even Barack Obama is going to play his part to set everything up. As we've been showing, it's a perfect balance all around us. So now you know, more than most people all around the world. And it's right in the Bible. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. When she gets her wings and we all leave, it's going to be the greatest earthquake ever that's coming. Just like that. Get to know Jesus Christ on a personal level as this new world order gets ready to come up upon the world and Obama sets it all up. Just as Deborah and Barack in the Bible. Hallelujah.